Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Femi Adebayo, unarguably, is one of the most hardworking actors we have in the Yoruba movie industry. Millions of Nigerians are interested in the personal lives of Nigerian celebrities. So, a lot of them want to know the possessions that the famous actors and actresses have. Femi Adebayo is one of the most successful actors we have and also one of the wealthiest. Is among the top 10 richest actors in the Yoruba movie industry. So there is no surprise that everyone wants to know his exact what. He's a phenomenal movie actor, producer, director, and also a special advisor to the Kwara State Governor. So it is not surprising that he has been able to acquire some assets over the years, including multimillionaire houses and, of course, luxurious cars. Some years ago, this Yoruba Nollywood star. Some years ago, this Yoruba Nollywood star acquired a house in Ibadan on Iwo Road, the capital of Oyo State, and he had a little house mommy party where he invited his close friends from the movie industry, including Tony Abraham, Uyua, Demola, Ojukwa, Gogo, and several other people. This house is a twin duplex, and it is luxuriously decorated. But the exterior of this house was given a native touch. And about five months ago, Femi Adebayo signed a multi-millionaire deal with Unique Motors and was gifted a 35 million naira worth to Utah Helix. Unique Motors. Unique Motors is one of Nigeria's luxury auto dealership. So some months ago, Femi had added this to Utah Helix TRD to his garage. And for the cars that he has known to have acquired over the years, this includes the Volkswagen Pazat 2014 which cost him some few millions of naira, and also Kia Sorento worth 5.5 million naira. Those are the cars that he has acquired over the years. There is also another lovely home which he shares pictures of himself in this home on his social media platform. This is said to be the home that he resides in. So as you see what Femi Adibari's houses and cars look like, this is a short but interesting biography of this Yoruba actor Femi Adibayo. It is a known fact that children of stars have to struggle to forge their own identity. Why well, it was not different for this popular Yoruba actor, Femi Adibayo, whose father is a veteran Nigerian actor, Adibayo Salami, who is popularly known as Ogabilu. After kickstarting his career on the set of his father's first movie, Yogo in the 1985, this 40 plus old actor had to face some unusual pressure of finding his own identity. But that is past today, it is history. Today is one of the poster boys in the movie industry. and. Also one of the richest that we have. Femi Adibayo Salami is a popular Nigerian lawyer, film actor, director and a producer who was born on 31st of December in 1974 in Lagos State. But then he's originally from Ilori, part of Kwara State. As mentioned earlier, he's the son of the veteran actor Ogabilu. Femi has 13 siblings. Ogabilu has 7 sons and 7 daughters. For his education, he attended the University of Illinois where he obtained a bachelor's degree in law and a master of arts degree in theater arts. Femi is also the MD and CEO of J15 Media Network Nigeria. He has master's in law. Femi Adebayo Salami is happily married. He has a set of twins, a girl and a little boy. So in total, he currently has four children. He came into the limelight in the year 1995. After featuring the movie Owo Blue, which is a movie by Tadu Ogida, and since then he has featured in major films in the Nigerian film industry, winning major awards, including Best Yoruba Actor at the 17th African Film Awards, which is now known as Afro Hollywood Awards, at the Stratford Hall in London. He also won the award in the same category for the Best and Hollywood Broadcasting Organization of Nigerian Awards in 2012. And the other awards, African Magic Choice Awards, AMVC for Best Indigenous Movie Yoruba Category, Yoruba Category Etiko Onigedu 2018, City People Movie Awards for Best Actor of the Year, Yoruba Category 2017, City People Entertainment Awards for Best Movie Producer of the Year, Yoruba Category 2015, just to mention a few. The other movies that he has featured in over the years include Mokalik 2019, Heaven of Mama 2018, The Island 2018, October 1, 2014, Ladies Gang 2011, Ebute 2010, Atono 2009, Ijaola 2009, Irofofon 2009, Oreke Demi 2009, Turumade 2009, Atapaku Meta 2008, Omopupa 2018, Kwadu 2008, Tawo Tawo 2008, Inu 2007, Jaguar Show 2007, Mayomi 2007, Mumbo Walloran 2007, 
the Bolu of Fimose 2006. A little bit 2006, or Fimose 2006, or Shumwenda 2006, or Bishop 2005, and Erafo 2009, just to mention a few. Femi was also a special advisor to the Kwara state government, and he noted that he was able to do some things as the special advisor in an interview. He said, as a special advisor, you have to seek permission and approval to do so many things. So it has been the glory of God. So I have done the little I can. What I just did as the special advisor for tourism and culture was to transform Kwara state into a cultural haven. When I got to my state, I realized we had so many beautiful cultural tourist sites and attractions that people do not really know about. So we created a culture and tourism awareness campaign for the people. It also encouraged investors to invest in the tourism potentials and sites. And to God be the glory, we were able to do that. I also rebranded the cultural and tourist attraction sites and put them under an umbrella and tagged it our choir. You know the hospitality of our people in addition to the cultural tourist sites makes the state tick. Femi Adiba Salami left acting for a while and he was called to the Nigerian bar in the year 2003. He did practice law for about two years. However, the law practice was clashing with his acting career. He couldn't go to court and handle legal assignments and still act. So he had to choose one and he chose acting. Also, on why he ventured into politics, he said that he never really thought of going into politics before. But then he thought that there was a need for him to be in it and contribute his quota in his words. This is also because there's a, that belief that when you're a politician, you're a bad person. So I really wanted to correct that notion in public. That was a movie that Femi Adebayo Salami had to slap his own biological father in the movie. In that movie, the title of that movie was Actually You. It is a Yoruba movie. Well, this actor was asked in an interview how he felt about that. And in his words, he said, he's going to encourage you to do that. It's my job. He trained me and he's my boss in the industry. He has taught me not to fear whenever I come across a bigger actor or someone like him on set. But the moment the director says stop, I prostrate to him and apologize. Of course, it might have felt awkward. And Femi added that when he was presented with the script where he had to slap his father on set, as an actor, he had no choice. And in his words, the moment we are acting, I don't see him as my father anymore. I see him as a colleague, and we both need to interpret our roles very well. This was what he reviewed. So this is the little about Femi Adebayo's houses and cars. We have come to the end of this episode on Femi Adebayo Salami's luxurious home and his multimillionaire houses. We hope you enjoyed this episode and learned to the two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.